Getting bombed in Ukraine made me realize some things. You know, as they say, there's only two facts in life. The government trying to rob you in broad daylight and death. My team and I are scattered across the world and it's a small team, so I do all the payroll myself. That means me dead equals no pay. And that's not where I want to leave my team, especially in, the, in this climate, it's, things are very unpredictable. So I came up with a Bitcoin inheritance solution that leveraged tech instead of traditional wills. I made it open source so you can do it for free yourself, uh, either for your team or maybe your loved ones. And um, it's very simple and we'll, that's what we'll go through today. A server sends a telegram message every seven days to ask if I'm alive. If I miss three times, 21 days, then the server will send a password to the telegram group. This password will help open a file that they already have on their computer that's encrypted. And each of these files have their separate Bitcoin address. Now we send it using Telegram, but we can easily use other services such as email. They have not been programmed yet. So if that's something you want to have, then tell me and I can implement that for you. If you feel frisky, you can also make your own pull request on GitHub. First, I search for Botfather and I open Botfather. Then I click start, then I make a new bot and I call it something unique like Valhalla123 test. I then need to also give it a name, uh, a username and I give it underscore bot. We got here a token that we will be able to use later. So we need to copy paste that one to send uh, and set this up. Now I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a group by clicking this icon here and going for a group. And I'm gonna invite all the people that I want to be part of this here. And I'm gonna also invite Valhalla Testbot. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna call it Valhalla Test. Now we have a group where we can send messages. So I find the trust wallet here and I download that. And then the spyware needs to check that this is not other spyware that's competing. <laughs> ah, Xiaomi. After opening the trust wallet, I create a new wallet. I say that I want to do one with a secret phrase. I say I want to back it up manually. And then I make sure that I understand this here. I get now the seed and we'll take the seed phrase here and copy paste that into my text document that I'm gonna encrypt on my computer. And then you delete it afterwards because then you know that you have the seed phrase, uh, but it never actually touched the internet. And this will eliminate a lot of things, not all considerations, but most of the things. If you're really paranoid, you should probably use a ledger instead. I will start and I will write, um, this is the Bitcoin address. And I will copy that from my trust wallet and I'll put in the Bitcoin ad address here. And I will also do the public address here, boom, boom, boom. And then we have this here. And when we have this, we want to make sure that we compress it. So I'll compress it using um, this uh, command here, Costa 7 uh, zip. This is encrypting it uh, using the password that we have um, put in Valhalla. And I will then send the Costa 7-zip to Costa over email. I use email because then this way I avoid having the password and the file on the same servers. I do a git clone of the repository here. I go into the repository and we have a dev. I'm gonna uh, change that to, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna copy the dev to production. And then we can start editing using uh, our text editor. I'll put in telegram key that we got from Botfather. And then I take the ID of the chat up here and put it in the telegram chat with the minus. I have telegram key. I have the telegram chat. I have the web URL to be localhost. You should change that to where you're hosting it. And then we have the secret that should contain the password and um, password is one, two, three. And then I have sent secrets after three times and ask every three seconds. Ask every three seconds is really good to help you 
test the things because it only takes three seconds instead of three days and the three days you should probably put to seven days as i start the production you will see that it says valhalla started and then it will start asking me every three seconds if i am alive and when i haven't replied for three times it will give me the password valhalla is here password is one two three now if I start this again and I go to the link here and I press reset timer, it will reset the timer and it won't send the password. So this way I can make sure that I don't get the pa password. And this way I just have to go in every seven days or at least within 21 days to make sure that the, the password was reset. If you need any updates about this here, please write and I'll take a look at it. I am a little bit busy with uh, everything, especially like now YouTube uh, blowing up. But if uh, you have some good suggestions, I will consider to implement them. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you in the next one.